it's Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan's face has been all over the internet in the past few weeks. Companies seem to have been working overtime to include Dylan as their new inclusive brand ambassador. Now, Dylan, who became famous for his Days of Girlhood series on TikTok, has been dividing people across the US for his involvement with many famous brands like Nike, Bud Light, Maybelline, and more. Let's see what Dylan has been up to. But before we do that though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. All right, so let's first look at Dylan's Bud Light related posts. Hi, impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. So I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. Love ya! Cheers! Go team! Whatever team you love, I love too. Okay. Love ya. Okay, break a leg. Woo! Okay. Dylan is trying really hard to do an impression of a stereotypical dumb blonde, I guess. I can understand why so many people are angry about this. I mean, normal women don't behave like this, right? A lot of them enjoy sports and are serious fans. This act that Dylan has going on, his clothes, hair, makeup, exaggerated style of talking, are just mocking real women. Nike women also had a campaign with Dylan. Here's the video. How could anyone think this was an accurate representation of women? Let's see what real women have to say about this. All you real women out there, we are in the fight of all fights. Mikey, I am done with you. This is our day to start this challenge. Burn your Nike bra. Well, as you can see, real women are fed up and tired of being sidelined and ignored so biological men could take their place. Also, this isn't the first time Nike women got into trouble. In 2019, Nike was in the news for mistreating Alison Felix, the most decorated female track and field athlete in Olympic history. While still at the top of her game, Nike cut back her sponsorship by 70% just because she got pregnant. So, one of the greatest female athletes in the world had to suffer consequences for getting pregnant, something most women go through, but a man dressed up and pretending to be a woman can become the face of the same company. How is this representing and supporting real women? The internet is flooded with headlines about trans women winning Women of the Year awards, women's beauty contests, competitions in women's sports, and just beating women in every category. The idea that biological women are not good enough just because they were born women is what's been pushed by these organizations. And it's not just major corporates. Regular trans people are angry when they are called out for making a mockery of women. Here's an example of this. But I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I am tired of TERFs making a mockery of real women. Oh, what, you were born with ovaries? You bleed every month? You have XX chromosomes? Yeah, that's cute. Tell me what other external factor that doesn't apply to all of you defines you. At the end of the day, you're out here thinking that trans women are making a mockery of you when it's the exact opposite. You are pretending that you know that you are a woman when the only people here who know that for sure are the ones who have put in the work to understand themselves, the trans women. You have put zero work in actually understanding yourself. You are only a woman because everybody else around you looked at the same external factors that you look at and said, mm, seems like woman behavior to me. And you went, all right. The only person making a mockery of womanhood is you because you do not fully understand what makes you a woman. Stop harassing trans women. I don't even identify as a woman and I'm more of a woman than you. It's okay to be scared of cishet men, but don't take it out on people who aren't even a threat. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight. Biological women don't understand what it means to be a woman, 
but men who wear feminine clothes get their makeup done get hormone therapy and surgery so that they can parody women are the actual women man that's insane so where does this leave the real woman why does she have to conform to the labels birthing persons womb carrier menstruating people for people who don't want to care about biology their labels reduce women to just some aspects of their physical characteristics and nature but women are so much more complex than that i should know i'm married to one if you were not born a woman it is insulting to assume you have any idea what a real woman is but that's not what's been pushed they want us to forget about the traditional woman and push her aside to make way for a new type of woman a better one one that is so good that they are not even women so what do you think about this by being more trans inclusive are we erasing real women and stealing opportunities that rightfully belong to them let us know in the comments below also if you like this new format let us know by liking and subscribing to our channel Until next time